So today I'm in the park again, where I usually fly the Joy Trainer Mini and small planes. So right there I have the Joy Trainer Mini, and today is a bit windy. And the goal today is to test the Ardu Pilot with these conditions. Now I have this cool gadget that I recently bought. It's really cheap, but it's really useful. So I can point it to the wind, and I can measure the average. Uh, let me see if you can see it there so i can measure the average wind speed or just you know i can turn it on and i have it in kilometers per hour because well you can change it to feet per minute knots miles per hour and kilometers meters per second and kilometers per hour so it's really cool i'm going to leave the link in the description below if you want to get one of these but right now i'm going to measure the speed of the wind so I was getting 14 kilometers per hour maximum a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago. And now I'm getting around 10 kilometers per hour. So that's the wind and it's changing a lot. So it's, it's not comfortable flying like this with small planes like that, like the Joy Trainer Mini, because um, it's very bumpy up there. So with this wind, uh, I'm going to try and fly with the, with the Ardu Pilot and the idea is that it's going to be a stable flight regardless of this wind. And so let's see how it goes. I'm going to use my, my goggles and I'm going to record the flight with this and see what else. So I prepared my Joy Trainer Mini for the flight and I plan where to put the camera and I'm going to place it right on the nose. And this camera is very small. I'm going to record the flight with my on-way goggles uh, because this camera is just for transmitting the video back to ground and I get ready for the flight. Now I'm going to launch it against the wind because it's very, uh, very strong and turbulent, especially behind the trees. And here I go. The launch wasn't the best, but you know, Ardu Pilot will do the best job uh, stabilizing the flight. And now let's take a look at the goggles. So in most of the flight, I was pointing towards the wind to maintain the, the plane just uh, above the park. Uh, I didn't want it to drift away so far. Right there, the wind is from the left, so you can see how the plane is drifting to the right very quick. And that's because the wind up there is faster than down in the surface. So you yeah, have to point to the wind again, and I'm barely moving forward. Maybe a, a very slow speed, but I'm moving forward. But in the camera, you can see that it's not noticeable, and it seems that I'm just uh, floating uh, in there. So I go down and I started flying around just to see how I behave. But the stability is very good. Uh, some From time to time you'll get some bumps and stuff because of the gust of winds, especially if I fly uh, close to the ground. Notice that this camera is only transmitting the video and it's not connected to the flight controller, so we won't be able to see any information from r pilot which will be interesting to do so in the next video or at some point. But that's a capability we can do using Ardu Pilot. But in this instance, I'm just using the plain video from the camera. Right there, I'm just gliding and Ardu Pilot does a good job. I'm using fly-by-wire A, by the way. So after a couple of minutes, I decided to land and of course I get my goggles off and land with line of sight because I don't want to crash into anyone and also it's easier for me to spot the plane and get it close to me. After that, I tried to fly it again with line of sight and it was a little bit hard because the wind was picking up, but it was fun. Well, 
all, it's been a good experience flying the Joy Turner Mini on a windy day with Arduino Pilot. Arduino Pilot did a good job stabilizing the flight, but uh, the wind still wins because it shakes the plane a lot, especially when I'm flying low where there is a lot of turbulence. Or even if I'm a little bit up, uh, there, there could be a, a bit of turbulence, but not as much as close to the ground. Up there, the wind is a lot uh, faster, so I had to fight against it. Otherwise, the plane was drifting off very far away. Uh, so I had to keep uh, going uh, against the wind. Arduino again is very helpful in this situation, but I don't know how it will behave, you know, when returning back to home and stuff like that uh, by itself, because the wind will make it very hard for it to to fly and you know to go back to to launch. Um, but I'm, I'm not gonna test it because that would be crazy. It, c it can crash or something. During landings was especially challenging because, uh, you know, I'm approaching the turbulence zone and, you know, I have to, had to sometimes know exactly when to throttle and when not to. And mostly it was, it was hard, a little bit hard, but not as hard as it would be without Arduino or any stabilization system. So yeah, it was nice. It was nice to have the help of a flight controller and Ardu pilots. I hope you liked this short video and if you have some comments or questions just leave them in the comment section and I'll see you next time.